is a familiar one to you, but we want to share it again with you in a different way. This story took place a long time ago, but I am sure that it still has some meaning for you today, too. For this story has a typical red riding hood. Hi there. <laughs> Who could be any sweet, innocent girl, and the wolf, <laughs> who is dangerous to any sweet, innocent Red Riding Hood, feel the wind through the trees, <laughs> and really enjoy the peaceful and quiet surroundings. No story <coughs> would be complete without a babbling brook, Bye. <laughs> 
little red riding hood. Right. <laughs> coming along the path and knew she was going to visit grandmother. Oh, me, oh, my. So, of course, the wolf had gone to grandmother's oh, me, oh, my. house first and ate up grandmother. Oh. Of course. Then the wolf waited for Little Red Riding Hood she came, but Little Red Riding Hood thought that Grandmother looked awfully different, and she said, Grandmother, what big eyes you have. But the wolf said, only the better to see you with, my dear. But Grandmother... jumped up out of the bed that Grandmother had been in and started off after Red Riding Hood. But sweet little Red Riding Hood was on the track team at school and she got away. And everyone lived happily ever after as all good storybook stories should end. Thank you.